bleeding control and shock management. We we'll start off BSI scene safety. We have a patient with a bleeding laceration to their left forearm right over here. So we're going to start off by applying direct pressure with our 4x4 sterile dressing. We're squeezing tight to try and control the bleeding. If the wound continues to bleed, we're going to take additional dressings and place them on top of the original ones, continuing to apply firm direct pressure. If it continues to bleed, we're going to take a piece of roller gauze and we're going to make a pressure bandage. So we're going to start by anchoring the bandage on the dressing. And we're going to roll around once. We're going to drop our flap that we left to anchor. And we're going to wrap right over it. We're going to continue to cover the 4x4. Four four. And once we've covered the entire dressing, as we continue to go down, we're going to make twists in the roller gauze as we cover the rest of the wound. This is going to increase pressure and hopefully help to stop the bleeding. Once we've covered with twists, we're going to unravel the rest of the roller gauze. We're going to leave one end in one hand and one hand to tie off a knot directly above the wound, again, to increase pressure. And we're going to tie that as a double knot, and we can cut off the extra end. So if the wound continues to bleed, we're going to use a tourniquet, which we're going to place at least three inches above the wound, but not on a joint. So we measure our three inches. We're going to keep the hard plastic in line with the wound, and we're going to make the Velcro nice and snug on the extremity. We're going to open up the Velcro flap, and we're going to pull and twist on the windlass, pulling up and twisting. And we're going to pull and twist until the bleeding stops, and there is no radial pulse felt, or no distal pulse felt if we use it in the leg. We're going to lock the windlass in place. We're going to cover it. We're going to document the time in military time, and we're going to treat the patient for shock. Shock treatment is going to consist of rapid transport to the hospital, high flow, high concentration of oxygen, elevating the legs or putting the patient in shock position, and covering the patient with a blanket to preserve body heat. If the patient would have a major trunk bleed, then we would remove all of the dressings we had applied and pack a hemostatic dressing into the wound.